Hi guys, welcome to Science in 5. I can explain it in 5 minutes. Okay, I'm going to show you how to calculate the energy of electromagnetic radiation using two equations. E equals H times F and E equals HC divided by lambda. The E equals HF, you use it when you're given the frequency. The E equals HC of a lambda, you use it when you're given the wavelength. Two important constants in both equations are the H, which represents the Planck's constant, and there's a value of 6,6 .6 times 10 to the minus 34. And then the C represents the speed of electromagnetic radiation as a value of 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Okay, so let's start quickly with our calculations. Question 1 says to us, calculate the energy of magnetic radiation with a frequency of 400 megahertz. So we're going to use E is equal to H times F. The H is 6,6 .6 times 10 to the minus 34 and the frequency is 400 megahertz means times 10 to the power of 6. And what does that give us? 2,64 times 10 to the negative 25 joules. Right? 2,64 times 10 to the negative. 2,64 times 10 to the power negative 25 joules. Number two, this talks about the same. What is different in number two is only the frequency value, but it's the same approach. Frequency is given as 12 gig. E equals HF. 6,6 times 10 to the minus 34 times 12. Giga means times 10 to the power of 9. Giga means times 10 to the power of 9. So this becomes 7,9 2 times 10 to the power of minus 24 joules. Okay. Now, number three and number four in this example are similar again. Why? Because we have to use the wavelength given. So number three says, let's use E equals HC over lambda. The H value is 6,6 .6 times 10 to the minus 34. The C we said is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. And for C, the wavelength is 400 nanometers. Now, plug into the formula and see if you get the same answer that I will get here. And the answer that I'm getting here is 4,95 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. 4,95 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So number three is done. Number four, again, since the only value that is changing is the wavelength, and I've got a limited space here, I'm gonna put the wavelength value, which is 45 micro meters. Okay. And I end up with 4,4 .4 times 10 to the negative 21 joules. Generally, as a rule, you always get very small values when you're calculating the energy of electromagnetic radiation. So there you go.